This is Daily Tech Now, where we cover breaking news in the tech industry every day. In today's news, Google announces that it will be bringing its magic eraser tech to more than just Google phones. Mercedes-Benz plans to integrate more apps into its cars, including TikTok. Netflix lowers subscription costs in some regions in hopes of raising its subscriber count and more. Google has announced that the Magic Eraser feature, previously exclusive to the Pixel 6 phones, will now be available in all Google One subscribers who use the Google Photos app on Android or iOS as well as all Pixel users. The camouflage function will also be included, which allow users to desaturate distracting background objects without completely erasing them. These features will be available to any level of Google One plan and Pixel users will not need a plan to access them. Additionally, Google is adding new editing features such as HDR video effects and exclusive collage editor styles for Google One subscribers and Pixel users. It may take a few weeks for these new features to be available to everyone. Google has previously added features to Google One such as a VPN service and extra photo editing features for premium subscribers. The social media app, TikTok, will be integrated into the infotainment system of the new Mercedes-Benz E-Class, set to launch in fall of 2023. The new MBUX system will allow users to click on the TikTok app and watch videos when the vehicle is parked, and passengers will have access to a portion of the screen located directly in front of them. The passenger screen has a limited view of view, meaning the driver will not be able to watch TikTok videos being played on that screen. The partnership is part of Mercedes' efforts to expand its presence in the Chinese market where TikTok is popular, as well as to integrate third-party apps into its infotainment system. Mercedes also announced a long-term partnership with Google to offer driver navigation maps and YouTube provided by the tech chat, and revealed details of its own operating system called MBOS. In other news, Netflix has cut subscription prices in over 30 countries across Asia, Europe, Latin America, Sub-Saharan Africa, and the Middle East. The company has not disclosed the effective price plans or the new rates, but some subscription plans have been halved. The move is aimed to attract more subscribers in the face of increasing competition from streaming rivals such as Amazon, HBO, and Disney, as well as households tightening their belts due to the rising cost of living. The company is also cracking down on password sharing by introducing limits on more countries and requiring customers to pay an extra fee if they want a friend or family who don't live with them to share their subscription. Netflix has faced challenges in growing its share of the streaming market, including cutting hundreds of jobs and launching a less expensive streaming option with adverts. However, in January of 2023, the company reported a jump in subscriber numbers at the end of 2022. Finally. Twitter employees experienced an unexpected outage of both Slack and Jira on Wednesday, with no way to chat or ship code, resulting in most engineers taking the day off. However, it was later revealed that Slack has been manually shut off by someone at Twitter, possibly indicating that CEO Elon Musk has turned against the communication app. Twitter employees have expressed frustration and disbelief over the disappearance of the critical tool, which also stores institutional memory, particularly since the company has undergone thousands of layoffs under Musk's leadership. The loss of Slack is particularly stressful for employees working on Musk's latest big idea, open sourcing the algorithm that ranks tweets in the family. Although Musk announced that the algorithm will be open source next week, it is unclear whether Twitter will actually hit that deadline and doubts exist amongst employees on whether he plans to release the actual code currently in production. Furthermore, Twitter's quality of service has slowly degraded since shutting down its Sacramento data center, and the platform has seen increased latency during times of higher traffic. This has been your daily tech news, and please subscribe and come back tomorrow for more.